Well, good afternoon and welcome once again to All Things Baltimore. Reverend Lee Michaels here. Listen, as always, I'm ecstatic about the guests that we have to share with you today. A great program because it's going to give an opportunity to recap something that's very dear and near to me, and that is service. And our first guest, Chris Petrick, who uh, is the manager for Silo Point Condominiums, right? Yes. But Chris... Uh, spearheaded something really special not too long ago and I invited him in to share about the service day, right? Yes. Yeah. How did that come about? Uh, so our corporate uh, had sent out an email to everyone in the country uh, and it, it, was, it was a call for a service day. Okay. And I let it sit in my inbox for a couple days. I thought about it, came back to it, and I thought to myself, you know, I'm just going to grab a couple of vendors, maybe, you know, pick the school down the street. Uh -huh. Which was? Which was? Uh, Francis Scott Key Francis Elementary Scott Middle. Key. Yes. Okay. And, uh, and so I, I thought, you know, I'll grab a couple of vendors, maybe go out there and pull some weeds, put some mulch down, take some pictures, and, uh, and call it good, and, and uh -huh. you know, feel good about myself and, and what we did. Well... I, I don't do anything small, I've realized. <laughs> I, um, I ended up getting, I started, once I got 10 vendors involved, I thought to myself, maybe I can get 15. Okay, so you kept going. I got 15. I, I ended up getting 60-plus uh, vendors involved, wow. either donating school supplies, volunteering their time, monetary donations, or spearheading a, a large project. Wow. Um, and then I uh, had over 130 volunteers show up for the event as well. Listen, I went to the event, and I was, like, awestruck at seeing so many volunteers, everybody working meticulously in their area to address whatever their assignment was, even a landscaping company. You know, you got to tell me how you got that landscaping company when we come back, okay? Oh, well, for sure. All right, I'm going to take a little break right now, check out some music from Charles Jenkins. Then we're going to come back and find out more about not only the event, but also what's going to happen on the backside of this Service Day event right after this music break on All Things Baltimore. Welcome back to All Things Baltimore. Reverend Lee Michaels here with my friend Chris Petrick. And uh, Chris really knocked it out the park with this service day. Man, you did a wonderful job. I can't express to you how impressed I was with the organization. Now, now I want to come back to that. But first, how did you get the landscaping company to donate so many uh, supplies and resources? Yeah, so the, the big challenge was, you know, not only getting the vendors to, to cooperate and, and, and do many things for, for us to, to make this happen, but uh, part of it was asking them exactly what it was they were going to do. And uh, Brightview Landscaping uh, came up in a big way for us. They, uh, Man, big way is an understatement. Yeah, they, they invested probably about $40,000 into the entire what? project. Uh, from design to uh, plant material to labor. Uh, removal I mean, it was it was quite amazing i mean they did a thorough landscaping makeover for the school grounds yeah so we we basically we took out all of the existing landscaping in front of the school and replaced it with new landscaping with new landscaping wow. materials um so have you been back since then after the work has been completed I've been to back look a, at it? a couple times already um uh, the other day when i when i drove by the marquee they had changed the the marquee uh, to uh, to thank First Service Residential and Brightview Landscaping for for what they've done. First Residential, of course, is your company. Yeah, First Service yeah. Residential is, is the company that I work for. We're in 27 states. We have um, we manage over 8,000 communities across the country. Wow. Yeah. So, how did the uh, numbers of volunteers swell? How did how did that happen? You went from 10 to 100 over 150. How did that happen? Yeah, so the, the, the vendors, like, like I said, went from, from 10 to over 60, and then the uh, volunteers 
Uh, once once I, I rolled it out to my community, uh, to Silo Point, uh, I, I had a, just an outpouring of support. And then uh, there were there, the, the companies that were, that were volunteering to help, they volunteered uh, manpower as well to the cause. Um, your radio show that I was on, we had a couple people show up uh -huh. um, just at the school during that the That helped a little event. bit, huh? That just helped a little bit, bit yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, so it was the the support was tremendous. We uh, we had a lot of progress meetings uh, from the from the start to the to the very end. Uh, it was well laid out. I mean, I mean, that was something that impressed me. It wasn't just hodgepodge people running around trying to figure out what to do. Everything was organized. There was a group of people that was over here taking care of this. There was another group over here taking care of this. Another group over here. There was another group that was taking care of refreshments. There was another group taking care of cleanup. You had to have several meetings to, to organize. How many meetings did you have? We had, well, we, we put this whole thing together in about 60 days and we had seven progress meetings okay. uh, with the school and with, uh, with the vendors um, that were, that were taking care of the larger projects. So Plan Companies is the company that does our janitorial service. They donated uh, free interior cleaning of the school, so that was one of the large progress projects that we had. Mm -hmm. Serta Pro Painters uh, uh, was able to get a, a whole bunch of uh, paint and, and supplies donated by Sherwin-Williams uh, to paint various things, including the monument in front of the school. Uh, American Pool, another vendor, they donated a lot of time uh, and money. And uh, Heartline Fitness, they're the fitness company that we use at Silo Point, they donated fitness equipment to the school. They donated a preventive maintenance program. Uh, it was just a, a really, just everyone was, was behind it. So Chris, um, in retrospect, mm -hmm. reflecting on what took place, uh, what's the lesson that can be learned from that? I think that if everyone gets together for one common cause, uh, it, it, I, I think that we would all be surprised as to what we could actually accomplish. I think another part of the lesson is that it, it, it spoke volumes about the, 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 uh, the amount of interest people take in wanting to help and give back. It's just finding something that they can wrap their hands around. Absolutely, yeah, and you know, none of this. Uh, everyone comes to me and says, "You did such a great job doing this. You did, you know, tremendous. You deserve all this credit." There's no way that I could have done any of this without, you know, the, the corporate support for Service Residential, all of the the residents, um, you know, really stepping up to the plate and showing up for the service day. All of the vendors for stepping up, you know, monetarily and and volunteer wise. Uh, none of this could have happened without without everyone coming together. So, you know, one of the things I said to you, even before the interview, and I've said it more than once, that this could be a model and should be a model for Baltimore City. What do you think about that? I would hope so. I, I think that, that this could be a good springboard for uh, things to come. Uh, I'm already in the, in the planning stages right now of uh, 2020 service day. Okay, so you're going to follow up? I'm going to follow up for sure. Um, you know, it, it's, it's something that, that if I can plan what, what we did in, in 60 days, uh, just think what we can do if, if, if we, you know, we plan it 10 months, 11 months in advance. Uh, all of, yeah. all of the, the support that we can get for something like you that. You know, I, I, I'm going to put the challenge out there for the powers that be that uh, maybe um, there needs to be some serious consideration to entertain mm -hmm. the service day concept and uh, as successful as it's been in Solace Point, maybe to replicate it in other areas around the city. I can only imagine uh, how it can have a unifying effect for communities, mm -hmm. but also a positive effect on kids. How, the kids, did you ever uh, get a chance to see how the kids responded to what they saw? Yeah, so we actually had a number of, of uh, uh, students from Francis Scott Key come and help out. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I want the kids to feel proud to go to school. I, I want them to get off the bus and see nicely landscaped uh, flower beds. I want them to see, uh, you know, that the community is invested in them because that they care. Right. At the end of the day, these are going to be the, the 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 people that are leading us when right. we're older. So right. so if we invest now, that can pay dividends in in the future. Chris, I tell you, you did a great job, man. You started something that hopefully will catch on and will inspire others. I know it has inspired me. And uh, service is the theme of today's show because we've got guests later in the show that are also uh, operating in that same vein. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. But Chris, uh, if folk wanted to reach out to you, maybe to ask for your assistance, maybe with some ideas or formulating a plan for their own communities, uh, can they reach you? 
Absolutely. And, you know, I, I think that I'll, I'll probably give you my information. My email address is super long. <laughs> uh, but uh, my well, that's okay because I can put it on the screen right now. Right. So it's, it's uh, Chris at chris.petrick uh -huh. at fsresidential.com. Okay. And uh, the number to reach me at is 410-878-1004. And I'd, I'd be more than happy to, to help out. Um, I, I do ask that, uh, you know, we spread the word. And, you know, hopefully we can, we can get the, the support of the city councilman, the mayor's office. Which I think there was a city councilman or two at the event. There was. Yes, there was. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah. Well, Chris, job well done, man. Thank and you. I'm glad that you not only uh, saw uh, the fruit of that vision that you had for the service state, but also now uh, what could be potentially the lingering long-term effects in Baltimore City as others are inspired by what you were able to accomplish and do the same thing. And maybe we can get you to come back again. Thank you okay? so much. Chris, appreciate you I much. Appreciate it. Great guy. Reach out to him if you want to find out how to get it done. He got it done in a big way. All right, Live and Local is up next. Artist is uh, Shannon Wright. She's a local uh, uh, psalmist, and uh, we're going to feature her. Then we come back as KSAL, and then we'll have our second guest on the other side right here on All Things Baltimore.